My dear students, let us discuss this problem which is given in the previous year questions. He is given the two mirrors M1 and M2 and the angle between them is theta and we have to find out that angle theta. It is said in the problem that one light ray PQ enters in this direction in such a way that PQ is parallel to OM2 here. PQ is parallel to OM, it enters like this. It takes single reflection, again it takes double reflection, it comes out like this. And while coming out, these two are parallel. That means this mirror M O M1 and R S are going to be parallel here. In such situation, he is asking us to find out this angle theta. How should we find out this angle theta here? For that, as these two are parallel, okay, if this is theta, this is also going to be theta here. This is said to be corresponding angles. If this is theta, this is also theta because these two are called as glancing angles or angle of glancing. And uh, similarly, these two are parallel according to the problem. If this is theta, this is also going to be theta because of corresponding angles. If this is theta, this is also going to be theta because these two are called as glancing angles and we have discussed about glancing angles already. If this is the normal, a light ray enters, strikes and reflects back like this and this is going to be the mirror here, this is going to be the mirror. So this is angle of incidence, this is angle of reflection. These two are called as glancing angles and they are going to be always same in a concept of reflection. So therefore these two are same, these two are same because these are just like glancing angles here. Now these three angles are theta plus theta plus theta, they are going to be same and they are going to be 180 degrees. This is said to be angle sum property. That means sum of angles in a triangle is going to be 180 degrees. Therefore 3 theta is equal to 1 is to are called as glancing angles and we have discussed about glancing angles already. If this is the normal, a light ray enters, strikes and reflects back like this. And this is going to be the mirror here, this is going to be the mirror. So this is angle of incidence, this is angle of reflection. These two are called as glancing angles and they are going to be always same in a concept of reflection. So therefore these two are same, these two are same because these are just like glancing angles here. Now these three angles are theta plus theta plus theta. They are going to be same and they are going to be 180 degrees. This is said to be angle sum property. That means sum of angles in a triangle is going to be 180 degrees. Therefore, 3 theta is equal to 180 degrees and therefore theta is equal to 180 degrees by 3 which is nothing but 60 degrees. So, this unknown angle, the angle between the two mirrors is going to be 60 degrees. That you have to remember. Now, let us